Leviathan here. Today we're going to be doing another reaction challenge with the loudest Murcielago there is and a McLaren 650S. So let's go for a cruise. Lady wants a ride. <laughs> yeah, brakes are loud, but the Lamborghini Murcielago is louder. I really think that the Lamborghini Murcielago is the car that you just drive on occasion. But cars like a McLaren 650S, Ferrari F430, Lamborghini Huracan is a car that you can really drive mile after mile after mile. And for some of us, that's the most important thing. get a flashback from the Ferrari driver. I actually get a lot of hate from Ferrari drivers as well. When I was cruising around with a few friends in a McLaren and Lamborghini, a guy in a Ferrari actually gave me a thumbs down. Can you believe that? A thumbs down. That I thought was a bit too extreme. Did you know once I was driving and a Ferrari driver actually gave me a thumbs down? He was driving like, um, he was driving an F12, uh, like a Tour de France, and then he actually gave me a thumbs down. That's, that's low. I'll admit, the sound does play a really big part of the overall supercar experience, but that doesn't mean just because the McLaren isn't the loudest or as loud as the Lamborghini Murcielago, it doesn't take away from the overall experience. It's actually something I prefer. And what I've always said about the McLaren is when you drive this car really hard, that's when the sound really comes to life and you feel that soul and passion when you drive this car hard. Driving it around in the city, it's such an easy car to drive. You don't really feel the personality or character just driving this at 20 kilometers through some horrible bumpy roads in a city. When you take this car on open road or the track, that's when the sound screams, that's when it resonates inside the cabin. And that to me is really what this car is about. It doesn't crackle and pop like a Lamborghini Huracan. It doesn't make buildings shake like a Lamborghini Murcielago behind me, but it makes my heart race when I really drive this car. And to me, that's what this entire experience is about. There you go. <laughs> Now it's time to really open up these cars. There's just way too much traffic in the city and to be honest, we really just want to drive these cars. I know a lot of people enjoy watching reactions, but honestly, opening these cars up on the highway. Yeah, my turn, track mode. Supercars on open road. Ooh. I believe every reaction challenge must end with a fun and spirited drive. And I've actually lost my voice shouting out over the screaming V12 Murcielago. It really puts a smile on my face. Thanks for watching. Until next time. <laughs>